Well, I make wheel, phone, stoneware, and pottery um, for functional use. And I, my workshop is based at my home and my garden. I started learning to throw on the wheel, which was about nine years ago, I think, just after I moved here. I just signed up for a kind of adult evening class and was really obsessed with it really quickly. But I had in my head like this idea of all the things which I could make. I just kept on going and like dedicated a lot of time to practicing and practicing. I think it's kind of a bit like like a musical instrument or playing the piano or something. Like when you see someone playing the piano, it looks quite effortless and easy, but they've spent years and years getting to that stage and it's kind of the same with pottery. So you have to spend like quite a lot of time sort of practicing the scales and the basic things. And then once you get it, you, you can then you can kind of play anything. Um, when you look at kind of historical um, pottery, they tended to be really simple and then over time I think people got more and more complicated and actually I'm just trying to go back to um, really kind of simple, effortless throwing which is actually quite difficult to do. And then the glazes are are almost what I hope kind of bring the interest. So like the wood-fired glazes which I do, they're made in this big kiln. Um, there's a wood-fired tunnel kiln in Kigbeer in Devon which I helped build. So there's a team of us who fire it for about five days and it's layers and layers of ash which lands on the pottery and that melts and that makes all of these really beautiful kind of random um, like elemental glazes. So if you, it only needs a simple shape to sit on top of. If you put that on something really complicated, I think you'd lose like the essence of that glaze.